simulator rig that I've been working on for about five years or so, just been adding bits and pieces on it. Uh, I'll walk through a few of the bits. So this is the base frame. Uh, the box down here is a sub box um, out of an old car that I had and it's got two 12 inch subs with a thousand watt amplifier on it and uh, that it's hooked up to the PC for low frequency effects. It works pretty good since you're sitting right on the sub box. Um, the pedals uh, started out as G25 pedals, um, but I've got a master cylinder from uh, Amazon on there, a cheap one for a motocross bike, and that has an integrated reservoir and then that's just plumbed into a pressure sensor, um, a five volt uh, pressure sensor, and then um, it's bled with a little bit of air in it, so it gets a bit of a little bit of sponginess, um, just enough, so it's not rock hard. Uh, takes a little bit of playing around to get that right, because either there's too much air or not enough air. So a couple other things, uh, there's a USB hub to plug in all the different devices. Um, that's the power unit for the steering wheel, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, got the HODAS throttle system for doing flight sims, uh, but it's also very handy. It works as a button box for racing as well. Um, lots of settings for doing the brake bias and changing traction control and ABS and all that. Uh, the, there's a pair of PC fans, 4-pin fans, that are hooked up to an Arduino, run through SIM hub, and so that's connected to vehicle speed uh, to get a bit of wind effect, but also keeps me cool, especially if I'm using the VR helmet. Um, keeps the moisture out of the lenses. Uh, this wheel is uh, fairly new. I just got it this year. It's a direct drive wheel, a uh, new system put out by the Virtual Racing School. And so I was on the initial list to get one of the early development units. And uh, the wheel itself is something that I 3D printed the back end, uh, found it on Thingiverse, and then machined the front plate and then added a Leo Bodner uh, joystick interface board inside that has uh, all the button interfaces and um, an encoder translator as well. And then uh, 3D printed the, um, the grips here and then um, flocked them with pseudo suede stuff. Uh, the original shifter from the G25, uh, but that runs through uh, another converter box to just become a USB device, and then a uh, flight stick for flight games. And then down at the side, I've got the power supply um, and a big capacitor because the uh, um, I didn't want a thousand watt amp in there, so taking most of the load and some switches and stuff. Uh, the seat is set up in a way that I can get in and out so it runs on a lazy Susan bearing so I can get in and out and still have a fairly rigid The other piece I just recently made was uh, this yoke slider. Um, it's something I designed and it's mostly 3D printed and uses just regular cheap 608 bearings on a one inch tube and allows, if I loosen this off and unlock it, allows me to use it as a yoke for flight simulators. 
so because I find I like the yoke better than using the stick it's more like flying a small plane so this is with it rolled into position um, it sits up just kind of tucked up just hanging over the desk a little bit so I can try and get it close to the monitor still give me some desk space where when I'm still using it for work. Uh, the center monitor's a 32 inch uh, 1440p. Uh, the other two outside monitors are just 1080p 24 inch monitors. Uh, so the whole thing is stretched out farther than the monitors can display. So a bit of uh, wasted pixels there because the um, it's rendering the part under the screen but uh, it works that way because you're really just looking at the windows for your peripheral. Uh, the speakers are 5 inch reference speakers that run off this um, external audio output uh, which kind of gives me a convenient place to have a volume knob. Uh, the monitors themselves are mounted on 8020 extrusion. Uh, I made this a couple of years ago. Uh, the monitors themselves can slide on linear bearings so if I need to adjust their positioning and they also can rotate if I need to rotate them 90 degrees to try portrait modes. Well, the PC itself is a uh, water-cooled AMD 3750X uh, and a water-cooled 1080 uh, Ti So the last thing I'm working on is this, uh, using an old phone, is a display unit that I'm going to mount up on in behind the steering wheel, because um, sometimes I can't see it. it depending on the vehicle, the, the display gets cut off, um, so this provides a easier to see display right in front. It runs off the same SIM hub interface that powers the, or translates the speed into the fans, um, but it also does the telemetry for iRacing. Right now it's mimicking the a version of the Bosch display. Thank <laughs> you.